I'm at Elon's Kloof. This is Absa Cape Epic Day 4. Lots of tired bodies around. I'm going to catch up with as many riders and uh, the support staff to find out how the bodies are, how the morale is, and how the equipment's been holding up. Let's go. Nino Schurter, we are halfway through 2022 Absolute Cape Epic. How is the bike, how is your morale and how's the body doing? Yeah, first of all the bike is, uh, is top. <laughs> it's the perfect weapon for a race like the Cape Epic. 120 mil of travel, uh, really nice uh, geometry for uh, uphills and downhills. Um, the first so Epic on the new bike, right? It's the first epic on the new bike, yeah, right. Now two bottle uh, K, uh, bottle holders. Um, yeah, it's geometry is great. Lots geometry, of fun. Yeah, it's it's awesome bike. It's I would say at the moment it's it's the benchmark for marathon and cross country racing. Yeah. You've obviously got great form. We've uh, I watched the whole stage yesterday. Your form is amazing. Um, how are you feeling? Your morale must be good going into the season. Start of the season to have that kind of form is like having a lot of money in the bank, right? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Uh, so far, yeah, I was, was always able to, to push hard. So yeah, that gives for sure uh, some good morale that you know you worked good over the winter. Um, yeah, but unfortunately the race is not going how we like. A bit of bad luck. Today, uh, Lars had a really bad day, struggled. so. Yeah, but that's that's Cape Epic. You need to to work as a team. You need to have a really a lot of good luck, and uh, so far we are missing a little bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> sure, it'll come around. So, last question: um, If you were the course organizer, or you could send a message straight to the course organizer, what would you ask for more of? More double jumps, more triple jumps, maybe some step ups. How about a quad section? <laughs> I mean, you're always in the air. Like, do you want more of those features to have fun on, or what would you like? For sure, uh, I like, uh, yeah, especially when there's trail. It's Cape Epic, it's not all on trail riding, but uh, I really enjoy all the those trail sections, and especially the ones, uh, yeah, with some nice berms, some jumps, where you also can have some fun. Cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I would love to have more of that. But uh, yeah, we, we soon coming to the region of uh, Stellenbosch, and there's a lot of nice trails around, so I'm looking forward to this. Awesome, good luck, and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Here with Yannick Mechanic, uh, Nino's Mechanic. There's been lots of uh, flats and lots of mechanicals for the whole field and you guys have had your fair share. Um, what do you think has been going on? Well, Cape Epic is a special race, especially for uh, technical um, flat tires, I would say. Uh, the rough terrain, like uh, the dust everywhere, so sometimes the athletes are super blind on the trail and um, a flat tire sometimes it's just bad luck you have okay. or um, luck for for if you manage it uh, without any flats sure and then the other thing that uh, there's a lot of talk about chain ring size and stuff um, do you guys change chain rings depending on what the stage is doing or do you just stay on the big i see sometimes you go up to 38 or what do so, you usually run yeah they started uh, the prologue with a 38 chain ring and now the, they're since uh, the first uh, stage, they're on a 36. And um, I guess through the whole week, they're gonna stay on the 36, but let's see how, how the, the boys feel and uh, also how many altitudes they have to climb. And then uh, Scott Spark, I see the new, it's 120 more front and rear. So obviously it's uh, got rainbow stripes already proven on the XCO tracks. Um, it's your first time riding it at Cape Epic. Have you, are you running the same setup on it, suspension-wise and tire pressure-wise, as you do at an XCO, or do you, have you made some changes for the Epic? So for Epic, we run definitely a different tire. It's a 120 TPI um, tire, EXO, tubeless ready. Uh, in a World Cup, we use 170 TPI, so the threads are a little bit um, more softer, the comp uh, like the, the whole tire structure. And um, for suspension wise, we slightly change it. So we lowered the air pressure a little bit. Also the, the temperature is a big, uh, big theme um, with uh, pressure here and there. Tire pressure, we, we are slightly higher up 
with the, the tire pressure just to not have a, any flats. So usually for a longer day you go with a softer tire pressure and softer suspension but for this epic you've gone back up on your tire pressure a little bit. Yes exactly. All right congratulations four days in good luck for the rest of the race. Thanks. Cheers. Right, before we get into it, I just want to thank the sponsors. This video is brought to you by SRAM GX Axis, which is 1x12 wireless electronic shifting available as an easy upgrade for all 1x12 SRAM Eagle drivetrains. So why would you consider electronic shifting? Well, for starters, the buttons don't require any effort. You just touch them lightly and the bike shifts gears. Getting into that big 50 or 52 tooth cassette on steep climbs like here at the Cape Epic when the drivetrain is under strain is easy peasy with the little electronic system and the motor. The gears never go out of sync as there are no cables and cable housing. It's a wireless and motorized shift. Through the, through the SRAM Axis app, you'll have customized shifting parameters including my favorites, the touch and hold to shift multiple gears in one go. The derailleur is also very robust and in the chance of a rock strike the overload clutch kicks in absorbing any strikes and the derailleur actually moves out of the way absorbing any rock strikes. Overall the system is easy to live with and adds to the ride experience for cross-country trail and e-mountain bike riding. On my bikes and test bikes I've had a bomb proof experience with the system for over a year now and far prefer it to the cable actuated X01 or even XX1. Yes, that's right. I think GX Axis performs better than XX1 or X01 cable actuated shifting. But don't take my word for it. It's winning at the Cape Epic 2. Matt Beers halfway into the Epic. How's the body, how's the morale and how's the bike been handling? Body's good. Um, morale is always high. <laughs> it's that's the best thing about stage racing is you have multiple days to try and win and battle it out and it's like a goal you know all the time um, and then yeah the bike is running smooth I've had no issues touch wood your, but your colors are looking a lot better than when I saw you after stage one um, how long did it take you to start feeling right and did you start stage two a little tentative not sure what how the body's going to respond yeah, stage two, I definitely still felt my body was not right. Um, I was hanging off the back, like just kind of surviving. And I just knew I just had to work my way through and then get over that portage. And then, yeah, at the end of the stage, I felt a lot better. And then today, I definitely felt myself I could push what's where I wanted to do. And so hopefully it's a sign of good things to come. And you guys are coming on strong uh, in the stage, especially towards the end. Um, what are your strategy? What's your strategy now to close the gap? Or like, can you share what your strategy is? Or, or, or what are you thinking? Uh, it's very hard to actually put a strategy in place because day day. the race, yeah, it, things happen. Like today with the speed company guys, they got away just on like a random descent. Like things like that, you just like you just have to be so sharp the whole the whole time and um i think now the gc has kind of settled a little bit like there's not the, there's a bit of gap so kind of know who and suffering and who's doing better and who's partners so i think we just need to mark the necessary guys and um make and if there's opportunity just try and put time into obviously first and second and then um Grayton, we've got one day here in Grayton tomorrow and then we start to wind our way back to Stellenbosch. Are you looking forward to getting back onto those trails that you know well? Is it an advantage over the internationals? Yeah, I definitely think I also know Grayton as well. So it also helps a lot. Tomorrow I know a lot of the stage, so that also helps. Um, and then yeah, Stellenbosch will be a, a big one. I think most of Euros know Stellenbosch as well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but but it, de it definitely helps with pre road quite a lot of the course as well. Well, the whole of South Africa is rooting for you, so congratulations on your efforts so far. Well done and good luck for the rest of the epic route. Thank you. Uh, today we had a great stage and uh, was quite fast all the time. And we tried to save as much as possible in the wheels. And in the end, we come uh, in fourth. It's, uh, super. We are super happy with this after yesterday's. It was a really hard day for us, 
So, yeah. so the team's intact, bodies are good, and uh, any mechanicals out there? No, we ride, uh, we try to, to ride clean, and we had no problems still here. So we try also the next days to ride safe and uh, ride clean, and then we will see. And also the body feels good. Also the legs were good today. So yeah, let's see. Congratulations. HB Kruger, you're four days in, which is exactly halfway. How's the body, how's the morale, and how's the bike been? Um, well, I think let's start with the bike. Uh, bike's been amazing. Um, definitely nothing I can complain about. Uh, no hassles with the bike, so it's um, handling the terrain quite well. Um, especially the rugged side here, yeah, great, and um, so far it's been quite good. Um, body also very good at the moment. Um, yeah, rode with Alden Lacarte today, he was a machine, um, so we pushed quite a bit, um, so it was quite fun. Um, morale was a bit low after yesterday, unfortunately, my partner fell ill, so he had to withdraw after about 20 kilometers. Um, so it's difficult uh, bouncing back from that, but I mean, it's uh, part of the game, it's an absolute epic. Uh, you live and you learn. In terms of preparation, what is the single most important thing that you've done in your preparation which you think has benefited you for this Cape Epic? Um, well, I think definitely getting some racing in beforehand, um, but also not too much. Um, in the past, I've, I've had a bit of racing in and unfortunately it came in overcooked. And then eventually, I mean, after like four days, you get to day five and then you just completely toast. So, um, I think this year my approach has been very more uh, sort of uh, laid back and chilled waiting on putting the foot on the gas totally so um, and I think the way I'm feeling is has been paying off. Congratulations and well done. Cool, thanks a lot. Robin the Groot halfway through, how's the body, how's the morale and how's the bike being? Yeah, um, a body felt yesterday. Um, so I needed to just back off a bit today and just, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of pull out the racing there a bit and uh, just can't be conservative. Um, what, what else did you ask me? The bike is fantastic. Um, yeah, obviously. Been a lot of mechanicals out there, lots of flats and stuff. You guys going well? No, it's been super smooth um, from a mechanical perspective, but also like, yeah, I've been really happy with the geometry and the choices. Feet. The morale in the team looks good. I've seen some footage the morale in the team looks amazing. So we're going well? Yeah, we keep everything in perspective. Um, and yeah, just considering that we decided to come to Cape Epic five weeks beforehand. So yeah, we, we know what we're here for. And uh, we're one, last, to one last question. Hmm. Was today a meter by meter day or was today a stage by stage day? Uh, stage by stage, long weekend. Pedro Indunez, Spikes, Mukayo Alfa. Four days in, you're exactly halfway. How's the body? How's no, the no, morale? And how's the bike? Oh, no, it feel better now from two days back. I'm feeling very stronger. So I see out. And the morale in the team, all good? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, nice speed and everything. Okay, and yeah. the bike, lots yeah. of mechanicals. Yeah, all going nothing. Well. Yeah, good. Okay. Yes, What's the best uh, preparation tip you got for any viewers? What do you say? The best preparation to Thank you for your viewers. You know, love no, it's just focusing on the sporting and everything. Focus and train on. Nick yes, Levy, yeah. the absolute right. 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 team. Roger Blurt, legend of South African cycling, your 12th Absa Cape Epic working behind the scenes. Tell us about what the riders are coming in and asking to be done on their bikes for the next day. What are the more common issues the guys are having out there and needing to tweak overnight? Uh, Miles, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, it's been mostly just refurbing the sealants, making sure that there's no squeaks and groans, um, gear settings, uh, brake settings, just making sure that everything is in great condition for the next day. You know, that's really where we're at. And you're working on multiple brands of bikes out here. So what you're saying is nothing major, you know, the usual flats, the usual tires and... Uh... 100%, the little tweaks here and there, uh, checking that nothing's vibrated loose, uh, stem bolts, seat post bolts, all of that sort of stuff is what we're looking at, just to make sure that everything has stayed right and tight. Okay. Four days in, exactly halfway. How's the body? How's the morale? How's the bike? Yeah, I think everything's coming together now. Um, today we managed to, or we both had good legs and we managed to push the pace a little bit at one stage. So it's good signs. Um, Peter had his 
um, bad day on the first stage, so that's always good. So it's sort of only up from here. Um, day by day, we've been feeling better, and we actually like today we we managed to um, like tap off a bit the last 15 k's because we wanted to fight for podium, but then yeah, it didn't really work out that way. So we'll just yeah save it for another day and hopefully get lucky. And the course is uh, quite demanding here as always. There's always mechanicals as part of the Epsa Cape Epic. How has uh, your bike been holding out? No, super good. I think it helps like knowing um, the dirt here in South Africa, especially the loose pebbles and stuff. Yeah. So bike, equipment, everything's yeah good. I think we do have a little bit of an edge on the Europeans. Um, sure. Not so much on the climbs, but definitely on the trails. Okay, for sure. And how's the morale in the team? All good? Yeah, oh, very good. No, everybody's happy now and uh, yeah, we're keen to get home, get a massage, ice bath and yeah, maybe have a bit of a power nap. But yeah, everybody's enjoying it. Um, we are all on the African podium at least, so first and third. So yeah. Well done. Great the country's part. rooting for you. Well done, guys. Good luck for the last four days. Thank you. Exactly halfway, Brew. How's the bike? How's the morale? And how's the body doing? Yes, that's it. Two hundred k stages will take it out of you. The tracks today were much better suited to Nick. He was an absolute legend out there. And to think he's been right. I mean, he got his blur four days before the epic. Incredible. It's just remarkable. So, so the difference I, between the two of you, like on the descents and uh, on the flat highways. No, so, I mean he's got. I mean it's exponential his power. So him paired well with a bit of experience, and him paired to someone who can go nuclear. Uh, I'm telling you, there's a um, just watch. He's a weapon. You, it's, it'll come. Okay. It'll come. And uh, how's the bike going? Any mechanicals? There's been lots no, of mechanicals out there no, crashing. We, and so, we're actually riding pretty, we're riding very consistently and calmly. And that's, that's, that's the difference. So, and you've the, done bikes like, are, the bikes are amazing. Lastly, you've done like a million Cape Epics. For this one, what was the single most important thing you did in your preparation that you feel is helping you? I tried to ride as consistently as possible. Okay. Two days for an hour in the week and a 10K run in the dark but all three of them okay. and then a longer one on saturday so consistency is the thing yeah okay Oli munich congratulations well done halfway this there and for kids <laughs> nice one nice one milo sophia it's uh halfway through the epic now how's the body how's the morale and how's the bike going yeah uh bike's great thank you chris mathis you're the best mechanic ever really appreciate all your hard work you do uh body's really good our swannies um both peter yvonne and josh have been doing amazing work um Haley and i both felt really really good today i think um we had i had to put a really big dig at like 50k once we realized that pauline had gapped robin and we knew that if we kept it fully pinned and they weren't able to connect before that fire road section that we could actually probably pull a lot of time onto them. Um, and it's kind of what ended up happening. And uh, yeah, second in the stage, I was happy to settle for second. I think Haley definitely wanted to push it for the win, but um, you know, at the end of the day is getting to Valdivie in that leader's jersey and finishing in that same jersey. And how's the bikes going? There's been a lot of mechanicals out there and people uh, under geared and over geared for some of the stages. The climbs are big. I mean, 10 kilometer climb, that's yeah. huge. Do you have yeah. anything but like that back home? And uh, what kind, did you change your chain ring for that day? Yeah, so for me back home home, like Utah home, yes, we have some really steep fire road, uh, fire road and road climbs that are like above an HC but in the winter I go to Arizona where it's pretty flat and we have like Mount Lemon that's like 25 miles at a very shallow grade so I haven't been doing so much of the punchy stuff. Um, stage one we rolled out with 34s and I I died on that um, on that kind of the steepest climb just because I had no gears uh, but yet we still rallied and won the stage so that was good. Um, now we have 32s on and yeah i just can't wait to start taking the days off and for your viewers back home in the states uh, what do you have to say to them about the trails in south africa yeah i think uh the best is yet to come i think stellenbosch is going to be 
the best. We were actually based out of there for the week leading up to Cape Epic. So, uh, yeah, we can't wait to go back to a place that we've ridden the majority of the trail, so we kind of recognize where we are. Uh, but yeah, one more day in Grayton, and then we start transferring. So. Super. And your ice bath, how long will you be in the ice bath for? Uh, I've been, let's see, I have 15 minutes total, and i got like two more minutes to go. But um, it's not super, super cold, actually, so it's kind of really nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Congratulations, well done, and keep up the good work. Hey, thank you. Cheers. Whoa. Quick interview, gentlemen, please. Oh. Halfway in, halfway into the Cape Epic. How's the body? How's the morale? How's the bike? Well, the body, we don't feel the, the body now. <laughs> After three stages, um, the body is, is tired. Um, Today we stay with uh, Hans and Jose. We try to help with him, and I don't know. We wait to tomorrow. After tomorrow, to stomach, try the, the safe and and mechanicals. There's been a lot of mechanicals out there, but you guys, the team, all good. Yeah, well, we have uh, some problems in the beginning with my bike and after with the bike of Jose, but we try to to repair and this is Cape Epic. <laughs> Problem have a lot of but we need to to stay stay good and repair very fast to, to try to don't lose the a lot of time. Congratulations and good luck for the last four days. Thank you. Amy Wakefield Hello how was today? Today was hard. It was yeah, the stuff out there. It was quite a slog. Yeah. There was just no way to rest. Um, so there was one GC really quite downhill. Was hard going. Hey, really hard going. Was the bike handling? I mean, there's lots of mechanicals, lots of flats. How's the bike holding up? My wheel's still round. Today it's still round. Yesterday it was a little bit of 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 a little we're all in the team, like everything Another going well. You guys have yeah. together a bit, you had a win earlier this season. Every single you guys are nice. Yeah, so well, we're so in sync, we're just like a well world machine. And then fourth place yeah. in the well, rest of the world today is the team of the whole country's rooting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's a, it's a very hard uh, race for the conditions and the bike, it's, it's uh, need a uh, check-in every day. What kind of uh, mechanicals and things are you guys checking every night? Is it a full rebuild of the bikes or just part, part service? It's, it's the full. I, I take the, the wheels and crank and brakes, uh, check in and, and, and change the, the tires uh, two or three days. So the tires last two or three days? Yes, yes, but, but it's not uh, the tires uh, broke, but uh, I change it. Okay. And uh, what uh, pressure do you run in the tires? Uh, the tires front uh, 0 0.9 and 1, and rear uh, uh, 1.2 and 1.3. Okay, and then chainring size. Uh, I see there's a 36 chainring. Uh, are you staying on a 36 every day, or does the team change chainring? No, change. It's a new chain uh, first day and stay every race. Okay. And loop. Uh, it's more important uh, loop use. Yeah. The blue is a uh, is a wood. Okay. Yeah. It's a uh, and the chain it's all the rays. Okay. And these uh, Pirelli XERCs is um, is uh, that's the go-to tire for these conditions. Yes. Yes. Pirelli it's it's a uh, Scorpion XERC. Okay. It's uh, good for these conditions and use in the rear wheel. Use a tube in 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 tube. Yeah. You use a tube in the rear wheel? Yes, yes, a tanus uh, here. Okay. Yeah. An insert or a tube? Inside. Okay. Inside. Okay. And um, in your opinion, is the Cape Epic, I mean, you guys are based in Spain, but and you do a lot of riding all over, is the Cape Epic rougher on bikes than any other stage race? Uh, yes, it's a good race. Yeah, it's, I think, uh, the best race in Spain, it's a two a good race, but, but this one, it's a uh, I think it's super tough. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks. Cam, halfway, four days in, exactly halfway on distance. How's the body? How's the morale? And how's the bike? Uh, bike is sweet. Every day it gets better. And like you're just learning the trails more, so the bike feels good. Morale, 
it was terrible this morning, but step by step it's getting there and same with the body, so hopefully I was still struggling to get food in this morning, so uh, the start was pretty tough, but then I'm getting there pretty much now, able to start feeling better, so hopefully tomorrow's going to be better again. Are you on the Epic or Epic Evo? Uh, just normal Epic, running grid, tyre in the back and control in the front, it's a good mix of kind of grip and, and uh, like roughness because it's just no it's flats, just, mechanicals out there, everything's nah, going well. No issues, three years in, keep it like that. Congratulations, well done.